Did you know that if you use your car or motor vehicle to carry out work-related duties, there are certain things that you may be able to claim a deduction for at tax time. One of those things being the distance you travel between work sites. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Reese. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what is needed for a logbook when keeping record of your work related travel. An important thing to mention to begin with is that if the travel is private or a portion of it is private and a portion of it is work related, you can only claim the portion of work related travel. So any travel that is private, you cannot claim a deduction for. It is very easy to separate the two and I will get into an example to show you how I would go about doing that shortly. Just to set the scene, examples for what classifies you as using your motor vehicle for work-related travel include transporting tools or equipment, such as an extension ladder that your employer requires you to use for work and there is no secure storage available at work attending work-related conferences or meetings away from your normal workplace, delivering items or collecting supplies, so anything that's related to your job that you need to deliver or go pick up, you can claim the travel between the two locations. Travel between two separate places of employment, but not if one of the places is your home. So for example, if you had a second job, so you have two jobs and you're traveling from one job to the other between shifts, that can be claimed. Travel from your normal workplace, so wherever you're based, your office, let's say, to an alternate workplace. So let's say you had to go out to a work site and that's not a regular workplace, you'd be able to claim the travel between the two. Just keep in mind that you won't be able to claim the travel from home to your current and regular workplace, it must be from your workplace to another workplace. When working out what you're going to claim, you'll need to use the actual expenses incurred against the vehicle. When working out what your claim is going to be, you need to use the actual cost method, so understanding what the actual expenses incurred on the vehicle are. Now, the other side of this and the purpose of today's video is logbooking. So specific things that you claim against your vehicle will require you to have a recorded logbook which is generated by you to keep track of all of the travel that you do between work sites and workplaces for work-related travel claims. This is a mandatory rule. You must keep a logbook when claiming kilometers or miles traveled for work-related purposes. And I encourage you to use a spreadsheet because it absolutely makes it a lot easier, but doing it by hand as well would be just as fine. There are three ways to record your trips when traveling in your motor vehicle and planning to claim that as a deduction. They include a point-to-point -point trip, which is basically you recording the start and finish location, a GPS trip, so log in a GPS app and record the total kilometers of the trip, an odometer trip, which would see you recording the start value of your odometer and the final value of the trip. I personally keep a logbook of my work-related trips in a spreadsheet because I think it's incredibly easy to use and I keep it in the following format. I have the date of each trip, I have the start and end location of the trip, so where I'm traveling from to where I'm traveling to, the reason for my travel, the total number of kilometers the car traveled during each trip. And the way I work this out is I will just look up on Google Maps, for example, the start location, the end location, and just take the fastest route from A to B. I'll write them down as my kilometers traveled. And then if you make two or more journeys, or if I make two or more journeys, in a row on the same day, I will record them as a single journey. Come tax time, if I'm completing my tax return solo, I would go to the section that allows me to claim a deduction for kilometers traveled and input the number. And if the ATO ever came to me saying, hey, we wanna see proof that you did travel this, I would show them my logbook as evidence. In turn, if I went to see my accountant, I would show them the number of kilometers I've traveled through my logbook, and then they would input that number into my tax return and again, I would claim the deduction, no questions asked, easy to show proof if I need to, happy. Now, if you are someone who travels for work regularly, I highly encourage you do this because you can see yourself deducting or claiming hundreds of dollars worth of kilometers. The current deduction under the cents per kilometer method is as follows. As of the 1st of July, 2020, they have increased it or the ATO has increased this deduction to 72 cents per kilometer. Last year and in previous years, it was 68 cents. So we've gone up four cents per kilometer, which is great. It's a win for you. And if you think about it, let's say you did a thousand kilometers at 72 cents, that's $720 that you're going to be claiming come tax time. It's a win for keeping a spreadsheet and putting some statistics into it. 
Just keep in mind that you can only claim a maximum of 5,000 kilometers. After that, it gets taxed as if it was normal. So the deduction is at maximum 5,000 kilometers. But again, that's a lot of driving. Also keep in mind that if you are a shared owner of a car, both of you, both people can claim 5,000 kilometers on that car for separate work-related purposes. So let's say I was driving, delivering food, I can claim 5,000 kilometers as my portion and then my partner was doing the same thing, they essentially could claim the same amount of kilometers. On top of this again, keep in mind that if you get any type of reimbursement for your kilometer travel, which I used to from my previous employer, you are not allowed to claim those kilometers. If they reimburse you at all, you are not allowed to claim a deduction for those kilometers traveled. I can't stress that enough, you can't double up, you could get caught don't do it. There are plenty of other expenses that you can claim at tax time against your motor vehicle for work-related travel, but I'm going to leave them to discuss in another video. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider liking and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next one.